I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, DIY-HA.com, and in a previous video I talked a little bit about the new Arduino tray. And this is a board where basically Arduino has combined together on a single platform a uh, Leonardo and then also a Citara processor that runs a full Linux operating system. And the two are electrically connected on one board. So you can basically um, run you know, full Python scripts and that kind of thing on the Linux operating system and also be able to put Arduino code directly onto the onboard Leonardo. So it's a great mashup for home automation because you can read low level inputs and that kind of thing, but you can also get the data into higher level scripts that are running on the Linux side. But one other really cool thing that this allows you to do on the new Arduino tray is to connect to the tray uh, through a browser on another computer on your network and be able to actually upload code to the onboard Arduino and do things like read from the serial port um, in a browser you know, on your network. So you don't need to install drivers and the other kinds of things you normally have to do to get an Arduino up and running. You can literally um, connect it via Wi-Fi or Ethernet and then just connect into it from another computer. So I'm going to demonstrate that and this is what Arduino is calling the, their web IDE. So um, here's the IP address on my local network for the tray and I've just put that into Chrome here and then I'm going to enter my password which I created when I originally set up the board and it's going to log me in and this is actually again running on the Arduino tray it's serving this um, page to me and I can go through here and do several things I can um, go in and do some configuration of the board so I can determine um, you know, how I want it to connect. It's going to give me some information on the networking and that kind of thing. Um, but I can also go back. And this is where it gets really cool. I can go in and I have a full editor here, just like I would have in the um, installed version of the Arduino um, IDE. But this is, again, all running in the browser off of the tray itself. So I didn't have to install any drivers on this computer or anything like that. And as you can see, I can actually you know, do everything I would be able to do with normal Arduino code. I can even load sketches that I've created on my local computer in here. And this allows me to, again, through the browser, actually upload code right to that onboard Leonardo that's on that tray. So um, I actually have two options here if I wanted to put code over there. I can use the onboard Leonardo. I can also have that Citara processor on the tray run my Arduino code emulating an Arduino. And the advantage there is just the fact that um, it's a much, much faster processor. So it'll run the same code basically pretending to be the Arduino, but it'll actually run it on that Citara processor instead. So you have some actual communication within the board between the um, Citara side and the kind of lower level um, AVR on the Leonardo. And again, I've got a bunch of different sketches in here, including um, the code that you need to program a Blink M, which is what I have actually connected. And in another video, I'm going to show how I'm able to actually run a Python script on the Linux side of the tray and be able to communicate with a Blink M that's plugged into the onboard Arduino. But again, from here, you know, I can do everything that I would normally do in the desktop IDE, including I can pull up a serial monitor, and I can actually monitor the uh, information coming over the serial port, again, on that tray, and it's all being done through the browser. So this has a lot of advantages. Obviously, one is that you can uh, reprogram your tray as long as it's on your network you can reprogram it from anywhere in the house so if you embed it in a project or install it in, in a, a basement closet or something like that to run your home automation system you don't have to go tracking it down and unplugging it and connecting it via USB if you want to make a change to the sketch that's running on the Leonardo or anything like that and another really great advantage of this is that for educational purposes it's really easy to get up and running so you could, you know, if you wanted to use this more in a classroom setting to teach home automation concepts, you could actually have people do a project on the tray 
and they wouldn't have to install anything on their local computer. They could just access it through the network and be able to connect right in and start playing around with the Arduino side of it. So this Web IDE is something that Arduino is basically launching on the tray. Most of it is completed. I'm, I'm doing a beta test um, as of the time of this video, and um, this gets better and better with every new release. Um, there were some issues originally with serial monitoring over the uh, browser, but that's now working much, much better. And, um, you know, this is uh, something that they'll probably, I would imagine, be rolling out across other web connected boards as well. So this is a, just a preview of it. And um, again, in other videos, we'll go in a little bit more detail into how I'm using it to do some actual home automation projects.